I'm super excited to share with you the brand new changes to the Content at Scale platform. We've made it significantly easier for you to edit and create content within Content at Scale with something we like to call the Unified Editor. We have a brand new experience for you to use in order for you to create and edit content. This is the new view inside of Content at Scale. First thing you should notice is over on the left-hand side sidebar, we have some changes. So now we see dashboard, we see start writing, rank well, and AI detector. We've simplified this menu to make sure that it's easier for you to get started on the tasks that you actually want to complete. So if we go into start writing, this is what you're met with. You're met with a canvas that allows you to use all the tools within Continent Scale immediately. Whenever you want to write or compose, you're able to do so right here within a unified editor that's gonna make your writing experience seamless. So what are some of the features within this new UI? So right here we have Write with AI, and if we click on this button, we're going to see the dropdown for Amy, AI agents, and your AI chat history. This is great for you to write social posts, for you to write pretty much anything that you want, and all you have to do to get started is click on one of these options. On the right hand side, you're going to see Amy chat immediately pop up and you can start typing and engaging with Amy directly. So for instance, if I wanted to say, write me a quick script for how to talk about new features on my platform. Let's see what it comes up with. Sure, here's a script that highlights the new features on your platform in an engaging, informative way. Opening scene, bright and welcoming background with upbeat music. Hello, everyone. We're thrilled to introduce some amazing new features on our platform that we know you're going to love. Let's dive right in. So awesome. We can immediately go ahead and add that to our editor by just clicking a single button. And just like that, inside of the editor, we have the entire script and the output from Amy ready for you to edit or do anything that you want with. This changes the way that you interact with your content inside of Content at Scale, allowing you to not just use it for this, but even your blog posts. So if you're writing a blog post inside of Content at Scale, you can then use Amy and just simply have that copied over for you automatically. But what if you wanted to write a blog post? How would that whole thing come about? Well, very simple. On the right-hand side, we have more buttons for you to press. We have Amy Chat, AI Agents, AI Chat, and Premium Blog Posts. But as you can see, these are filtered by these four categories here at the top. We have research. So if I click the research tab and uncheck the generate, generate tab, we have content brief, ranking content and plagiarism. So this is everything from the research tab that you used to love about the old UI in this new format that makes it easier for you to get to exactly what you need. To so generate, we can click on the premium blog post and create a blog post in the optimized section. This is all about optimizing your content. And then we have publish, which is obviously you're gonna be your export and how to publish your actual blog article. So let's go ahead and generate a new brand new blog post. So anytime that you click premium blog post, it's definitely going to ask you if you are sure because it'll erase what you have in your current blog post. But if you didn't wanna do that, you can simply click save and save the current selection that you have. I'm gonna go ahead and do so. So here it says, where would I like to save my file? I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder and type uh, demo on there and add that folder in and just like that it's saved so now it's saved underneath a folder that i titled demo which is fantastic way to stay organized so now let's go ahead and create a premium blog post all we have to do is click the premium blog post button and then you'll get this drop down as you can see we have all our normal inputs for creating a blog post we have keyword we have blog post url youtube podcast episode audio file and document so you still have all of the functionality that you had before, but in a brand new seamless and easy to use editor. So I simply just want to put keyword. And on the right hand side here, we see enter website URL. I'm going to go ahead and enter my demo fitness brand. I'm going to go ahead and call it fitnesstest.com. And let's go ahead and add our target keyword in here. So for this post, we're going to talk about how to do calisthenics. And we're going to write post now. And just like that, it's added to our article queue. So while this post is creating, let's go ahead and dive into a post that I've already have created using the new UI. So the name of this article is Calisthenics Build Strength and Fitness Without a Gym. And right away, you're going to see a lot of new changes to the platform UI when it comes to how we're presenting things. So we have our typical output that we know and love here on the left-hand side, which is great. But we also have this hovering menu here that allows us to do a lot of the editing that we're used to in the top nav bar that we used to have. So we have Ask Amy here, which is great. Ask Amy allows you to 
undetectably rewrite stuff, improve the writing, write a section. So if you want to write a brand new section, fix spelling and grammar, make shorter, make longer. You can change the tone, simplify language and summarize sections. So all great tools, all built within one seamless area that kind of follows you around as you go through this content. As you can see there, we can also bold and do all sorts of stuff. And we also have more actions here as well that allow you to copy and select. So over here on the right hand side, we see the overview. So if you're used to the old platform, one of the things you'll definitely notice is that it looks a lot different. We have brand new colors and it just looks better and easier to read, which is def was definitely our goal. Up, up here on the right hand side, we have what state your content is currently in. So if it just came out of the platform, it's straight out of AI. And you can set the state here for whatever you want, depending on what stage you're at in your content composition cycle. So whether that's pending editing, scheduled, completed, published, and so on, all here in a simple dropdown on the top right-hand side. So for optimization score, 84 looks great. So this is straight out of AI, nothing done to the article, nothing done to anything, but we can see down below that, that we can search for tools. No longer do you have to go through all the different menus in order for you to find the tool that you want. You can simply type it here. And so if I wanted to do um, AI detector, all I have to just type that there and it'll immediately find it. But even more so, what's really cool is that we have filter by. So we can click research. Let me actually delete this AI detector real quick and uncheck the optimize. So this is all the research settings. So content brief, ranking contents, plagiarism. If I uncheck that and go with generate, we see all the generative tasks. So we have Amy chat, AI agents, media, AI chat history. Awesome. And then for the optimize, we have the optimize. And then for the publish, we have the publish functions. We have scheduled date and export. So with the new UI instead of content at scale, we really enable you to go across everything that you're doing in writing online and have it all in one unified editor for you to use with any of your writing, not just blog posts, whether that be social media posts, whether you're writing a new book, whatever it may be, it's all can be done within a single platform on a single interface and a single editor. We can't wait for you to dive into this new update and start testing it out for yourself. We absolutely love the brand new editor here at Content at Scale, and we hope that you will too. Once again, I'm Jeff Joyce, AI Director for Content at Scale, and I'll see you guys in the next video.